Playground has had a major update and you can now create your designs from scratch with a prompt. I know a lot of you have requested this because previously you could only start off with either a template or an image, but now you can use very simple prompts and still get extremely good looking Tish design graphics out of it, which is very exciting. And they've added a bunch of additional features, including the chat GPT 4.0 model is now built into Playground to make changes to templates and your designs, which is really good because that model is extremely precise when it comes to text, making changes and listening to your prompts very, very closely. So overall, an amazing step into the right direction. And in this video, I'll cover all the changes. So the first thing that I want to point out to you is if you go to Playground, I'll have a link to it in the description. They, they have a free plan that you can sign up to as well. If you go to the t-shirt category now, not only do you have all these templates right here with the filters at the top for different styles, you've got upcoming events like, like Mother's Day, but you also have this prompt bar now at the bottom. This isn't in every category, but you can find it for t-shirts, logos, posters, mock-ups, stickers, cards and invites, and coloring books, which is really cool. So if we start, with t-shirt right here and change the dimensions to more of a t-shirt design layout like this right here, more portrait style, and then type in a simple prompt such as a cute raccoon meditating. We can hit enter and it will generate an image very, very quickly that actually looks t-shirt or print ready. So let's wait a few seconds until this is done. This is using chat GPT 4.0, by the way. That's why it does take quite a bit longer than the previous playground model. But here we are, we've got find your Zen. I didn't even ask it for a phrase, but it's still added one right there. That's appropriate. And we've got a raccoon meditating looks pretty neat. It's a, it's a little bit blue for my liking, like a lot of blue in this graphic, but we can change that very easily too. And I think considering the prompt was so basic, this looks like a like a really good t-shirt design to me. Speaking of the colors right here, you now have a lot of extra buttons and functions right here in underneath the image, including change color palette. So if I click on this, say I don't like this a blue color scheme, let's try and find a different one um, like this one right here, forest autumn, quite a different feel, more greens and earthy tones to this. If I click on this, we'll then regenerate the image in that brand new color scheme. And there we have it. I mean, the graphic pretty much stayed the same, except now, it has these new colors in the text and the raccoon. So that's definitely pretty handy to quickly change the colors and you can still go back to the original if you prefer that up here with these arrows and you can see how close it is to the original design in terms of the text, the layout and the graphic. There's minimal changes. The only thing that's really been affected a lot is the colors. On top of that, you can also change the style. So for example, if you click on this, it comes up with a lot of other templates and at the click of a button, you can apply a completely different style to your graphics. So for example, if you want it to be more minimalistic like this one, then let's try that out. Click on this one right here. There we have it. Now it's more one color like the example template that we clicked on, except it's added the word Zen again at the bottom, not sure where it's done that, but you also have an eraser tool right here to fix little imperfections like that. But that's a quick example of the style thing. And um, we also have a face style right here that you can change to. I don't really understand the difference between face style and normal style, because if you click on these, it also applies the same style you see in the example. So they're very similar from my tests anyway. You can resize as well if you do want a different format after all, you can still change that. And then you also have put in mockup, um, which I'm going to show you in a second too. But first of all, I want to discuss one of the big changes now that you have, whether you're editing a template or whether you're editing a graphic that you've created with your own prompt, you now always have the option to choose the model down here. So in these few iterations I've been using, the 4.0 model, but you can still change back to Playground V3, which is a lot faster than 4.0 and it gives you more images. However, it's not as precise and high quality, especially with text, 4.0 is probably the best AI model right now. And it's also very, very good at changing little details that you tell it to within your prompt. Whereas Playground V3 is faster, it will give you more images, but they won't always be exact. And I'll show you a few comparisons of that in a second as well. Well, but to get back to these options right here, let me also show you what it looks like if you put this on a mock-up now, I'll just quickly erase the text at the bottom. So do that right here, click erase, and then I'm going to click on put in mock-up. It brings up a massive library of pre-made mock-ups that you can choose from for different products. You can also search for something specific right here. So if you're looking for t-shirt mock-ups only, then just type that in and you'll have them filtered out. So let's try it on this flat lay, for example, with the yellow shirt, just click on this. And once again, it'll take a few seconds 
to regenerate this image. And there we have it. I think that looks pretty good. If we go back, you can see that the graphic pretty much looks the same. Um, although I will warn you, this is AI kind of regenerating image on a mock-up. So it's not always necessarily going to be perfect I've noticed this one actually seems to have done it an extremely good job but I have had a few examples where tiny details of the graphics were wrong like if you look at this star and the shape of it I think in this result yeah the shape is slightly different right there so it's tiny details like that that can turn out different so you want to be you know careful with that if you're using these on your store and the design might not look 100% like the original that you had beforehand. Besides that, what can you do with Playground after these updates? One thing I've been playing around with is the upload and edit image feature, because now with 4.0 built in, this can help you out a lot more accurately in your workflow. So for example, I will drag and drop a photo right here of a design that I saw last year in a, in a shop. I actually bought this for my sister as well. And I really like this layout, but maybe I want to have this sort of layout and style for a different topic, for a different phrase. So what you can do now with the 4.0 model very easily, you could say, use this style for the camping niche and use the phrase, camp more, worry less. So if we hit enter on this, if you can't find the right style within the templates, or if you've just seen something out in the wild that you really liked and you want to use it within your workflow, then feel free to upload it here and make changes to it with a simple text prompt like that. Because yeah, there we have it, camp more, worry less. And it's also automatically put it on a like flat background right here. It doesn't look like my terrible photo at an angle. It's smart enough to realize that it shouldn't look like that. Let's change this right here to more of a line art camping style design and it's spelled the phrase correctly and laid it out very nicely in this kind of portrait format so really love that nice way to be more precise with example images that you have and you could also add an image down here during your process so if you've already started with a template or you already have an image and you want to use a style reference or, or an image as a reference and kind of combine two things merge them then you can also add that down here you can also try this out with your pet or pictures of people's pets if you want to offer personalization. So I've uploaded a photo right here of Milo in his car seat. And now you can give this a very simple prompt like turn this photo of my dog into, let's do a cartoon t-shirt design graphic. And it tends to automatically add text to these if you want a t-shirt design. So if you don't want text and you just want the graphic, say without text at the end, and then you hit enter and it will turn this photo into t-shirt design and there we have it i think that's pretty good it's definitely more of a t-shirt design graphic now than a photo and uh, that would be very easy for removing the background he's got the same harness on it does definitely look a lot like milo to me even though it's been simplified down a lot i could still see this as milo and if you want to make further changes to it you still can so for example if you want to say the name of the pet and some additional details in a personalized design for people you could also say things like add the text milo in big letters above and then add the text cutest accent since 2020 underneath. Right, so there we have it. Let's uh, refresh this. Yep, there we go. Milo is above and we've got cutest Dax hunt since 2020 underneath. All spelled correctly. It's taken my prompt and the, the layout into consideration very accurately. And if we look at the graphic, yeah, the, the graphic is still almost exactly the same. It's just added a text and changed the layout a bit. So that's that. Um, and you can still go here, change the style, change the, the sizing, the color palette, put it on a mock-up. And of course you can export this as well, upscale, remove background, etc. These are limited to the pro plan. If you're on a free version, you would have to download with the above option. But let's do an actual comparison of the new 4.0 model right here versus Playground V3 because you can only access 4.0 on the paid plan as far as I'm aware. So is it worth the upgrade? We want to see right here. I'll start off with this template and I want to change the text of this to something else. I really like those sunglasses, but let's say you want to change the text to say summer 2025 cruise squad. So I'm going to run this once with 4.0 and then once with playground v3 and then we'll compare the results side by side so here we've got a bit of a flow chart um, of the first test we've got the original design at the top this is the template and then with the same prompt this is what they created so we've got 4.0 on the left version v3 on the right and i timed it it was roughly 20 seconds to get this result on the left and about 10 seconds to get these four on the right so yes yeah, definitely a lot more images for half the time with the old version but let's compare the results so I think 
this is fairly clean. It's a bit of a shame that it hasn't carried over this style where each letter is a different color. I'm definitely missing that. The sunglasses are very similar. If you look on the right side, it's definitely done more of the uh, interchangeable color right here in between letters, which I like. The sunglasses have deviated a bit in terms of the way they look, like some of these are a lot more detailed than the original. And some of the results, the text is kind of messed up a bit too much or hidden too much. Like here, you can't really read this. This is a good result. I quite like that, to be fair. Um, and these at the bottom are also not bad, except some of the stars look pretty messed up. So we've got, I think, one fairly usable result, except that 2025 is a little bit hard to read with the overlap and the sunglasses are a bit detailed for my liking. On the left, I think this is a lot cleaner overall, but then the effect and the text got lost. So that's the first example and let's try out another one. Let's do this template and let's try and make it wine themed. So we could say it's wine o'clock and then change these graphics right here or the icons. So let's go change the text to it's wine o'clock and the icons to represent wine. And maybe we'll give it some examples such as grapes, wine glasses, wine bottles, etc. And I should probably spell this correctly. And once again, I'm going to copy this prompt and run it twice. Let's start off with this version and then we'll compare once they're both done. And again, we've got the same flow chart. We've got the original at the top and then for O and V3 outputs down below with the same prompt. Let's look at the text first of all. So it's wine o'clock is spelled correctly here on the right. We also have it spelled correctly, except here it's wine o'clock. It's one o'clock here. All of these are right, except the one in this top right corner. And then in terms of the graphics, I think these look a little bit cleaner. I mean, these grapes are not perfect. Don't get me wrong. Um, but then on the right, there is some messy stuff in here, which doesn't really make much sense to me. What's that? Yeah, some of this stuff is okay. But then, yeah, there's always some icons like, what, what the hell is that meant to be? What the hell? even that and also this is added color on the right hand side whereas the original didn't really have that it was two-tone and 4 has stuck to that so whilst 4 is still not perfect with all of these icons in my opinion i think it's closer to what we wanted whereas these results on the right definitely look quite messy i'm still impressed by the text accuracy like besides the one mistake it did that right but yeah i think overall 4 whilst it takes longer is going to be more precise and these two examples show that so yeah i hope that helps you make your decision and kind of see the differences so you know which one to use in your workflow. So just to clarify the pricing page right here a little bit, because this is such a new feature, they haven't updated the text yet to reflect where you can access the 4.0 model. So I've checked with the Playground team and they told me that the 4.0 model right now is only available in the Pro plan. You can get five free images in the free plan with the 4 hour model, but that is it. I'm guessing the 4 hour model is a lot more expensive to run. And to be fair, if you think about it, depending on what you choose up here for the billing, it's either $15 or $12 a month. And if you subscribe to ChatGPT Pro to access 4 hour on there, then you're paying $20 a month. And on here with Playground, you also get all of the additional templates, which you don't get with ChatGPT Pro. So it definitely seems like a fair deal to me. Also, one more thing is that the starting from a prompt, that new feature or addition is also limited to the Pro plan, which makes sense because it uses the 4.0 model, but still they have an amazing free offering right here for anyone who's new to Playground or if your budget is very limited, this is definitely one of the most valuable free AR tools in my opinion, because you get 10 images every three hours that you can use commercially and you get access to a ton of really good POD centric templates. So definitely a great tool worth checking out. I'll have a link to it in the description. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, first of all, thank you very much for watching and comment raccoon underneath to let me know that you made it. And if you want to learn more about Playground, then just click on this video next.